They here. First cover three, the five wide out offense with Coach Bill Renner. Um, definitely of all Jackson State. At this point, I'm not putting any blame on any players because it's really two out of three. The best defenses they played all year have been U of Monroe and have been FAMU, uh, and they looked completely lost on this. But this play right here by Coach Bill Renner is something they should call, call the man. If you're determined to play the five wide set, I was calling for it the whole game, man. We went, drove up there to Monroe, and Rucker was open the entire time on the, on the dig. They had just went a fade every play. He was one on one, first one of the slowest cornerbacks they'll face this year. But anyway, as you can see, break down the play for you. <sighs> okay, so you have your five wide. You have two on the left, three on the right, right? So let's say this A. For some reason, I'm not sure why, but people are afraid to run a very simple wheel route. So you <laughs> have A. Very simple, out and up, wheel route. If they're going to cover you like they did, you're going to spread them out. They have that uh, wheel linebacker on there. He's going to come out and have the X receiver. He's going to go up, make a dig. Simple, simple route tree. Z, it's a straight out, straight fade, post. Okay. They're going to bring you with five, uh, with the defense they ran. This linebacker, he must shade this way. He has to. He has no other option. Once he shades to your A receiver, then you're going to have your X receiver run a straight dig. Very simple. If this cornerback is going to stay in man-to-man -man defense, right, he has to follow the dig. You mean to tell me you wouldn't trust Warren Newman or Corbin on the wheel route heading deep? The window for this quarterback, for Shador, will be very simple. When the ball is hiked, the first read is him. Very simple, three-step drop. If he cuts this way, throw that ball deep. Simple. If he 
if he shades out, and he stays in, the window's right here. That's also depending upon the safety. So, once again, wheel route, if he stays and cuts in, go. If he shades out, go back the next read. He's running that quick out. Come back over here as you shade, as you watch the field, you're watching for him. If he's going this way, that means this safety, if there's a safety right here, has to come back and get this flag, which means B is going one on one with the free safety. No, no, I'm sorry, sorry, guys. He's by himself, basically. He's by himself. There's no one there. Um, this side here goes once again. That strong safety has to cover that Z. That's your bailout throw and Rucker. Just if you see one on one with Rucker, man, just throw the damn ball deep. Now, the next play. number one consideration is that he wants to get his body between the one technique and the midline because he knows the ball's coming down there. If for, for whatever reason, maybe this one te technique is slanting or he's real aggressive, but he starts attacking that A-gap real hard and he sees the center leave and he wants to get in that hole, then our left guard will change this from a scoop technique and he'll just lock on and he'll just run the one technique by the play or wash him down as much as he can. The running back will see that and then he'll just bounce the play out accordingly. And that's why we took the damn field. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. Thanks, Coach. 